taking over the world one nerd at a time. Total Nerd Takeover. Hello, Chris Gray from Total Nerd Takeover Studios. And in this video, I am going to answer a question that a lot of people have been asking um, from the PlayStation 4 hard drive upgrade video I have done. How do I upgrade or how do I upload and save all my game saves? And how do I restore them and or the games? Well, let's start out with if you've purchased any downloadable games after you do the hard, hard drive install from the previous video, what you want to do is you want to go into PlayStation Store and find those games and re-download them after you sign in to your PlayStation account because those games are connected to your PlayStation account. So you'll have to re restore by doing that. So you'll go into PlayStation Store. It'll ask you for your, you know, your username and password. Put all that information in. Go to that game and re-download it. Now, for system disks, you know, if you, if you bought an actual hard disk of a game, you'll need to take the game disk and reinstall it from the CD. That's how you'll do that. But what about game saves? Okay, well, game saves, we can also back up before the installation of the hard drive and restore after we've put the new hard drive in. So if you're a PlayStation Plus user, not only will you get the benefit of having two free games to choose from, to, or you can download both games every month, and have online content that wasn't available, uh, multiplayer content that is, that wasn't available without it, and having a more of a discount on uh, game sales, you'll also have the ability to upload a certain amount of game storage to the PlayStation Cloud Storage. Now, the trick with this is that PlayStation Plus only gives you one gigabyte. That's right. I said one gigabyte of online cloud storage, which honestly is not enough. Well, during the time of this recording, it is one gigabyte of online cloud storage. So let's start with that first. So I know this is kind of funny. I made this video after the hard drive video. I should have made it first, but such is life. We're going to now upload our games, our game saves to the online storage, and then I'll show you how to do it for USB. So first we're gonna go up to this part of the menu here, and we wanna to go to settings. This part of the, the, of the guide is for people who have PlayStation Plus accounts. Without PlayStation Plus, you cannot do this uh, for the online storage. Okay, so now I'm going to go to, I'm going to scroll down here where you see, uh, you'll see highlighted the application saved data management. And we're going to select that by hitting X. Now here we have three choices. We're going to stick with the top choice for now. That's save data in system storage. Tap on that. Now our next set of uh, options, we're going to upload to online storage. Tap on that. Now here you'll see a list of all the game saves that you have available that you can online cloud store. Keep in mind, these are not the full games. These are only the game saves. And like I said before, if you need to reinstall the games, you have to download them from the PlayStation Store or from the upload or, or install them from the discs. Okay, so let's select one. We're going to select Batman Arkham Knight. It's 31.46 megabytes. I then have several saves that I can choose from. Uh, well, in this case, I have three. Some games will actually have more, uh, which we'll talk about in, in just a moment. So for now, I'm just going to choose the most recent. So I have it highlighted. I will hit the X button, which will give it a check mark on the left. I then will go to the right bottom where it says upload. Tap on upload, it'll upload to my cloud storage. Done, that's all there is to it. Keep in mind, you only get one gigabyte. Now, if your online storage is full and you have to make space for the game saves, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna back, uh, back out of this menu by hitting the circle button 
and we're going to go to saved data in online storage. That is the second option here. We'll have it highlighted. Press X. And now we're going to go to delete. Now in delete, we can now delete whatever. This is all the game saves I have in my cloud storage. These are game files that are saved. If for some reason you have, like, let's say race to race the sun, I'm never going to play that again. I need to make room for other games to upload cloud store. I will then select X. I can then, you'll see that that game save is highlighted. I will check mark it, move to the bottom right, just by pressing the directional arrow over or a control pad over. The delete will be highlighted. I will hit the X button and it will say the selected save data will be deleted and I will select OK. And it will now delete that game save from my online storage. Now, if you're backing up after the hard drive, you want to download your saves back to your hard drive after you've updated it from the cloud storage, you'll just select download to system storage. In here, you can then man you can select one by one you would like to download. If I select that and hit download and uh, go over to download in the bottom right, I will now download that. Now I already have this in my system, so I'm just going to hit no because I already have it. Now I'm going to back out and tell you um, the reason why your one gigabyte of uploaded online cloud storage may go very, very fast is if you have automatic storage turned on. So every time your game saves, it'll automatically store to your upload storage. Now we can turn this uh, off to save and to save the amount of space it's constantly being up uploaded. Uh, that means you'll have to do it manually. You'll have to remember to do it manually on your own. So let me just show you what the setting is there. We're going to hit the circle button to go back to this main menu here. And we're going to scroll down to systems or system selected by pressing X. Scroll down one, make sure automatic downloads and uploads is selected. Press X. Now over here, you'll see the PlayStation Plus uh, symbol with saved data. I have it automatically selected. So it'll automatically upload my game saves while my PS4 is turned on or in rest mode. If you're having a hard time keeping your one gigabyte of online storage cleaned out, you might want to turn this off so that you can man but you'll, you have to you have to remember you need to manually upload those saves yourself so don't forget to do that i leave it on save data automatic because if i go in there a lot of times the game will tell you it could not save and that's what i know Ooh, i better go in and delete a game's file that i don't really need anymore okay well there's another way to save data where we don't have to worry so much about the cloud storage only being one gig. And that would be using a USB stick or even an external drive. Now keep in mind, the external drive, uh, if you're using an external um, spinning disk drive, it needs to be an XFAT. It needs to be an XFAT format uh, or external format. And if you're using a USB stick, you want it to be in FAT32. FAT32, very similar to when we did the system install after installing a new hard drive. So for this demonstration, I'm going to be using a 8 gigabyte USB thumb drive, which I'm going to plug in right now into the PlayStation 4. You can also use an external drive such as this one here. This is a uh, 250 gigabyte Seagate external drive. I will have different links in the description uh, if you need to purchase any of these. And I'm going to show you um, how to figure out what size memory, thumb memory stick you need or hard drive. We're going to hit the circle button to back out. Hit the circle back uh, to back out again. And let's go back up to the top of the menu here where it says system storage management. We're going to tap, how, make sure that's highlighted. Hit the X button. And this will show you the application data you have, the capture gallery, application save data themes and the free space will be on the bottom the very top you'll see that's how much space i've used in my two terabyte hard drive now 
what we're looking at here is application save data. So I'm using about 1.13 gigabytes. So an eight gig thumbstick will do just fine for saving all of the data, uh, all the online game saves that I have. Okay, so let's go backwards by hitting circle. Now I'm using an eight gigabyte thumb drive, so I have plenty of space. Let's go back up to application save data management. Make sure it's highlighted and press X. Now we're going to go back into the save data and system storage. And now we're going to copy to USB storage device. Now here are all the game saves that I have. And I'm going to select Batman Arkham Knight. Now you can select all of them or you can just select one at a time. Now I'm going to select one at a time and I'm going to go down to copy and it's going to copy, I can copy it to my USB storage device. You'll see it on the right. Um, I already have it in there, so it's asking me to overwrite. I'll just say yes, so you can see what it looks like. There it goes. Pretty quick. Now, unfortunately, it looks like you have to do it for each save manually. So let's do Magicka 2. I will select that. And I will select all of them. Now, I can select all of them by just scrolling over to the right, highlighting Select All, and then scrolling down to Copy. And as you can see, it takes a couple of seconds to do it. Bam, now you're saved. So if you would like to delete saves from your USB device that you just saved to, maybe you saved the wrong one or you need to make room, that's very simple. We need to go back one menu by hitting the circle button. And we're going to go back another menu. So we'll hit the circle button again. And if you scroll down to where it says save data on USB storage device, press X. And now we can hit delete. Now, I only have two saves in my USB stick right now. That's the Batman and the Magicka files. So if I go to the Magicka 2 file, you'll see I have the three saved. And one is settings, one is autosave, and one is autosave 2. I can then select one, and I can or select all, and I can go over to the right bottom and hit delete, and that will delete the selected save. Okay, so I have shown you how to save and back up to the PlayStation Plus cloud storage. Keep in mind, it's one gigabyte. And I've shown you how to save to a thumb drive. Saving to an external hard drive is basically the same thing. Now, what happens after you put your hard drive in, you put all your PlayStation you know, credentials back in and you get everything set up and you're ready to rock and roll again. You start installing your game disks, disks and you are now ready for your game saves. Okay, no problem. All we have to do is go back a few menus, hitting circle, hit circle again, and hit go to copy to system storage. Now this way we can copy this information from the USB to the system storage. So we can either select all or we can select the individual save files. So if we select all, it'll all be checked. We can go down and copy. Now it'll copy from the USB back to the PlayStation 4. And if I do that now, it'll just overwrite the data I already have. But that's how you would reinstall those settings. We can also do that from the save data in the online storage. So if we scroll up to save data in online storage, select that, you would then download to system storage. These are all the games, all the game saves I have in my cloud right now. So if I wanted to re-download these, I would then select one, Magicka 2, select all, and I would hit download, and it will download, and it's telling me that I would overwrite the data because I already have the data on the PlayStation 4. If I hit yes, it would just re-download it. Now, for you, it would just have downloaded into the machine. And that's all there is to it. That's how you save to back up 
and how you re-download and reinstall back into your PlayStation 4. All right, I want to thank you for checking out this guide. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, you know where to put them. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Check out all the other videos here at TNRT.TV. And if you, uh, you like what we're doing, you can check out the other stuff we do at TNRT.com. I'm Chris Gray. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoy all the videos we do. See you next time.